Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Jason here coming at you one more again. Uh, coming back. Uh, took six months off. Sorry about that to my true fans, but the reason I took six months off <coughs> is I wanted, you know, the stuff that I was talking about. Sorry, I got a cold. <coughs> but I wanted the, the stuff that I was talking about, predictions and stuff, to kind of play out. So I just took time off, didn't say nothing, didn't show my face. <clears throat> uh, and so my predictions came true, you know. Uh, Chad Reed the Yamaha uh, rocks in the Honda, not going to win their championship. Um, those are some of my predictions, and you know they, you know they came true. But uh, that's why I took time off just to let that stuff play out. <clears throat> I don't say that I know everything. I don't say that I'm in the in crowd, you know, but <clears throat> some of the people I know and I'm around certain people that are in the know of, of stuff, but uh, <clears throat> enough of all that, I'm back, thank y'all, and for my true subscribers, thank y'all, I lost a couple of subscribers <clears throat> over that time period of six months, you know, but uh, <clears throat> topic of this video is A1. <clears throat> what stood out at A1? My opinion, and my opinion only, uh, in the 250 class, what stood out to me, yeah, I wrote all this stuff down, <coughs> uh, what didn't stand out to me? In the 250 class, uh, our local boy Macarath or Mikhail Rath, how you want to pronounce it, kicking butt. And my predictions, like I say, my two cents. I think Malcolm, I mean uh, Macarath. Sorry about that. Macarath is going, or Mikhail Rath is going to win the 250 West if he keeps his head, you know, down <coughs> and just work. And in this area where I'm from, that's all we know how to do is keep our head down and work. Uh, but, you know, he's got Plessinger. Plessinger uh, came in strong on that one. Um, Plessinger really, really <coughs> surprised me. He's really stepped it up from, from last year. Uh, another surprise that stood out was uh, Martin. You know, they say that he didn't know what coast he was riding until like two weeks ago and he was doing all his training on the east coast uh, but to me I think he's still learning that Honda and that's another prediction Martin Boy is going to Honda but one did but uh that came true but uh yeah I think he's still learning that Honda and it's going to take time. This is a learning year. Um, with him not getting a 250, I mean a 450 ride, you know, he's got to do what he's got to do. Uh, another surprise, and I think, or not a surprise, I think everybody in the amateur ranks saw it, was Fortner. The boy is coming. Uh, I think he is the rider that all the 250 riders are scared of. Uh, he just needs to keep his head down and not push it just learn this year you know if you beat a couple guys yeah that's good but just learn and the only way you can learn is staying in there and and completing races uh, <clears throat> another thing that stood out to me in 250 is uh, Justin Hill you know I know everybody's wondering like how does he still have a ride How's he still have a, a pro circuit or landed a pro circuit ride? Well, the thing about Justin Hill is he's he's not the fast to or not fast enough to where he's contender, but he's fast enough to where he's faster than any of the amateur guys coming out <coughs> out of amateur ranks. And also, you know, his salary probably isn't as high as the others. And that'll bring me to another topic at the end. Uh, 
let's see what's another thing that stood out uh, to me Hanson uh, <coughs> this guy's got massive talent <coughs> just looks like you know he was out there just trying to survive like I don't know it just looked like he wasn't ready yeah my phone's ringing like he wasn't ready for A1 that's just my opinion don't take it serious but it just looks like he, I don't know, he was just making rookie mistakes, bobbles. Uh, moving on. <clears throat> 450. Moving on to 450, I don't have that much time. Uh, the news in the 450 is Cooper Webb. Um, my opinion is Cooper Webb is getting used to the 450. It's a different animal than the 250, even though it's the same It's the Yamaha. The 450 and 250 are different animals. Uh, Chad Reed looked like he was is or Chad Reed's supposed to be there to mentor him. It looked like Chad Reed just left him. <clears throat> you know, I'm gonna go in. You you know, figured out the stuff that I've been telling you. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> and he just didn't he just didn't look comfortable on it. Like now, that's just my opinion. That's what everybody you know. We'll probably say uh, next is uh, what stood out in the 450s is Tomac. Uh, I think Eli got arm pump and just went backwards. That's just my opinion. Uh, I think he trains and rides by himself with him and his dad, but everybody knows. When you practice by yourself, it's different than racing the guys <clears throat> that you're going to be up against. Like, I can practice all day long and not get arm pump. But as soon as I go to a race, I'm gripping harder, uh, pushing harder, and then I fade. But I think that was the case with Eli. You got to look at Tomac Roxon. Uh, Anderson, all these guys ride with fast guys. Guys are on their level or not quite to their level, but they're riding with these guys at race pace, week in, week out. And I think Rock, I mean, Eli needs to get with these guys and ride with these guys through the week. Um, I just don't think, you know, yeah, he's the most fit, but you can be fit all you want. But when you get arm pump, you're done. There's no way around it. Uh, another uh, thing that stood out, and you know, Roxon kicking butt. Congratulations to Roxon. Uh, <coughs> Seely, Seely was you know, look like he's picked it up. Um, another natural talent rider. When he rides, he don't have to use a lot of energy, so he's just naturally talented. But he's also got fitness. So he, he's one that's going to be there at the end. Um, he rides in, you know, SoCal with them guys. <coughs> uh, Kennard. Uh, you know, go back and review. Kennard took a foot peg to the shoulder by Michael Lessie. Accident, you know, so he couldn't finish the race. But this is like what is the story of Kennard, you know. Sad to say. Uh... But it, yeah, it's true. Uh, moving on, uh, Dungey. I think Dungey was there. His fitness was there. Um, he's doing it. Um, but I think, and we all say this, what Dungey would do is he was second and third place his way to a championship. Or if he will win, he'll win it. But he don't finish off the podium. He don't push, um, you know. He don't. He don't get out of his, his comfort zone. Like we've never seen Dungey really have a tip over or anything like that. Um, <coughs> um, <coughs> and that's uh, <coughs> my opinion on on Dungey. Same Dungey we've seen before. Uh, 
another router is uh, Marvin Mu Scan. Marvin Mu Scan has been hitting it hard. Uh, no time off the bike. Uh, one of my buddies said that he needs, uh, well, not buddy, a viewer, says he needs time off the bike to get his mind back, to get his mind, uh, you know, sane again. <clears throat> uh, and the other thing that stood out in the 450s and impressed me was Dean Wilson doing a privateer ride, and I think he finished 10th on his own bike. Uh, impressed me. I mean, Dean Wilson, you know, and maybe this is what he needed was to do his, his own thing. And I hope he continues to do his own thing as some money gets behind him to where he can do all the rounds of Supercross. Uh, another ride that impressed me, Jake Weimer. Uh, if I was Barsha, I'd be looking out. Uh, he took this bike and he did his thing. I'm not saying Barsha is a bad rider. I'm just saying Barsha, you better look out. Uh, you might get your ride snagged. Uh, and in the 450s, what we didn't see is Malcolm not having a ride. Uh, and it's kind of hard to believe that he didn't. And we can't say it's a black, white thing. I know some people are thinking that. But you got to look. The Martin boys didn't have a 450 ride. <coughs> you know, the people who have 450 rides, they're not, they're not leaving. But they've signed these 450 rides early, like Cooper Webb. <coughs> so it's not surprising. It's just unfortunate for Malcolm. He pointed out, pointed out the 250s. But, you know, it's just, wow. A champion what has this economy has gotten to where a 250 champion can't get a 450 ride but as I stated he's not the only one the Martin boys couldn't get it and then also <clears throat> the pay is getting less and less they want these guys to pretty much ride for free <clears throat> and sometimes that's what you have to do when you're a 250 champion is you gotta come in the 450s ride for free get your name out there and then bump up <clears throat> But anyway, I digress. Uh, but yeah, that's just stuff that stood out. Y'all leave your comments below of what stood out, what y'all think's going on. I <coughs> uh, also like to point out, you know, the difference between, the pay difference between 10th place and 1st place <coughs> is drastically. Like, 1st place is probably making 10, 20 million. 10th place is only making a hundred grand, if that, maybe 90 grand. 10th place rider. The only difference between them in the 10th place and the first place is seconds. Half a second, a second a lap. That's the only difference. Now just kind of wrap y'all's head around that and marinate that in your mind. First place to 10th place. Night and day difference in pay grade. Uh, it just blows my mind. You could be seconds apart. And your pay is significantly less and you jump in the same jumps. But you're a second off each lap. Uh, anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all take it easy.